Mr. Popper's Penguins, Chapter 13, Money Worries. There came a night, however, when Mrs. Popper, having put the children to bed, stopped Mr. Popper on his way to the cellar. Papa, she said, I must talk to you. Come and sit down. Yes, my love, said Mr. Popper. What is on your mind? Papa, said Mrs. Popper, I'm glad to see you having such a nice vacation. And I must say that it's been easier than usual to keep the place tidy, with you down in the basement all the time. But, Papa, what are we to do for money? What is the trouble? asked Mr. Popper. Well, of course, the penguins have to eat. But have you any idea what the bills for all those live fish are? I'm sure I don't know how we're ever going to pay for them. And the engineer who put in the basement freezing plant keeps ringing the doorbell and asking for his money. Is our money all gone? asked Mr. Popper quietly. Practically all. Of course, when it is all gone, maybe we could eat the twelve penguins for a while. Oh no, Mama, said Mr. Popper. You don't mean that. Well, I don't suppose I really could enjoy eating them, especially Greta and Isabella, said Mrs. Popper. It would break the children's hearts, too, said Mr. Popper. He sat there thoughtfully for quite a while. I have an idea, Mama, he said at last. Maybe we could sell them to somebody, and then we could have a little money to live on, said Mrs. Popper. No, said Mr. Popper, I have a better idea. We will keep the penguins, Mama. You have heard of trained seals acting in theaters. Of course I have heard of trained seals, answered Mrs. Popper. I even saw some once. They balance balls on the end of their noses. Very well, then, said Mr. Popper. If there can be trained dogs and trained seals... Why can't there be trained penguins? Perhaps you are right, Papa. Of course I am right. You can help me train the penguins. The next day they had the piano moved down into the basement at one end of the ice rink. Mrs. Popper, who had not played the piano since she had married Mr. Popper, but with a little practice she soon began to remember some of the pieces she had forgotten. What these penguins like to do most, said Mr. Popper, is to drill like an army, to watch Nelson and Columbus get in a fight with each other, and to climb up steps and toboggan down. And so we will build our act around those tricks. They don't need costumes anyway, said Mrs. Popper, looking at the drool little figures. They already have a costume. So Mrs. Popper picked out three different tunes to play in the basement piano, one for each different kind of act. Soon the penguins knew from hearing the music just what they were to do. When they were supposed to parade like a lot of soldiers, Mrs. Popper played Schubert's Military March. When Nelson and Columbus were to fight each other with their flippers, Mrs. Popper played the Merry Widow Waltz. When the penguins were supposed to climb into toboggan, Janie and Bill would drag out into the middle of the ice two portable stepladders and a board that Mr. Popper had used when he was decorating houses. Then Mrs. Popper would play a pretty descriptive piece called By the Brook. It was cold in the cellar, of course, so that Mrs. Popper had to learn to play the piano with her gloves on. By the end of January, Mr. Popper was sure the penguins were ready to appear in any theater in any country. And that is the end of chapter 13. If you like my channel, you can like and subscribe below. And remember, Santa's always watching.